Good morning. Today is Sunday, the sixth Sunday of Easter, 17th of May. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartful devotion these days of joy, which we keep in honour of the risen Lord, and that what we rel relive in remembrance we may always hold to in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. There's so much in today's Sunday's readings. The first reading is how the Apostles Philip goes and preaches the Gospel to the Samaritans. Now, Samaria was an area of Israel that's roughly in the middle between the north and the south. And the Samaritans, who were so despised by the Jews, you may remember the whole point of the parable of the Good Samaritan is that they were the, the last people you think were good. Who were the Samaritans? They were the people who either themselves were more likely their parents or grandparents, who after the return from exile were pushed out of the community because somebody in the family had married a non-Jew, a Philistine. In modern language and modern Israel would be if a Jew married a Muslim Palestinian. So the Mar Samaritans were regarded as people who had betrayed the covenant, who had betrayed the trust in God by marrying out. Um, and the two great leaders, Ezra and Nehemiah, after they reinstated the law, the next thing they did was to throw out of the community and make them go and live up in Samaria all those who had intermarried with the Philistines and the other local tribes. So to bring them in was a sign that baptism, being a member of the church, being a follower of Christ, was open to all. Second reading is from 1 Peter, um, and it's got that phrase in which I think strikes all of us as a bit of a challenge. The phrase is this, Always have your answer ready for people who ask you the reason for your hope that you all have. Now people don't go around normally asking each other why do you hope with the hope you've got in the resurrection, uh, in the life everlasting in Jesus. But having our answer ready, that we have faith in Jesus, we believe that Jesus is the Son of God and we believe that he died and rose again. That's the answer we have in all simplicity. But somehow today it's a difficult answer to give in the, the public, external, secular world. But it's one we should have at the ready for anybody who asks us because in many ways that's what we're about and we need to be quite upfront in telling people. The Gospel continues the discourse of the Last Supper, John chapter 14, verses 15 to 21. Jesus said to his disciples, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. I shall ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate, to be with you forever, that spirit of truth whom the world can never receive, since it sees or neither sees nor knows him. But you know him, because he is with you, he is in you. I will, no, I will not leave you orphans. I will come back to you. In a short time the world will no longer see me, but you will see me, because I live and you will live. On that day you will understand that I am in the Father, and you in me, and I in you. Anybody who receives my commandments and keeps them will be the one who loves me, and anybody who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I shall love him and show myself to him. The Gospel of the Lord. So we're getting ready for Pentecost. Jesus again says he's going to leave, what we call the Ascension, when he returns to the Father. And then Pentecost, when he sends the Holy Spirit on the Church. And that the Apostles and all the believers are filled with joy and filled with courage. The particular emphasis of today's readings is actually to do with joy, because in the opening collect it said, what was the actual phrase, um, that we celebrate with heartfelt devotion 
these days of joy. For many of us struggling with the lockdown, struggling with knowing that people we love are either very sick, in some cases in our parish a number of people have died, family people, not a time of mourning. But Christian joy goes alongside. The joy we have is the joy of quiet belief, quiet certainty, quiet trust. Perhaps trust is the best word. That says, gives us the joy. We know that Christ is risen. We know that whatever happens, death is not the end. We know that whatever happens, nothing can separate us from the love of God. So it is a time today to reflect and see do I have quiet joy? Am I at peace with the good news of the resurrection? And to spend time in prayer, asking God for that joy and peace that comes from knowing that we do have the reason for the hope that we have, the resurrection, Jesus returning to life by the power of the Father to give us new life and new hope. We turn now to our bidding prayers. The response to the bidding prayer is, Glorify us, Lord, with the glory of Christ. Glorify us, Lord, with the glory of Christ. Let us pray to the Father, the all-powerful God, who raised up Jesus, our Prince and our Saviour. Glorify us, Lord, with the glory of Christ. Father, you brought your beloved Son from the darkness of death to the light of glory. Let us enter into the regions of your own wonderful light. Glorify us, Lord, with the glory of Christ. You saved us through faith in Jesus Christ. Help us to live today in the grace of our baptism. Glorify us, Lord, with the glory of Christ. You have told us to seek the things that are in heaven. Enable us to resist the attraction of sin. Glorify us, Lord, with the glory of Christ. Reveal the riches of our hidden life in Christ, that men may see the signs of the new heaven and the new earth. Glorify us, Lord, with the glory of Christ. And it was Christ who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, give us the grace of an attentive love to celebrate these days of joy, devoted to the honour of the risen Lord. Teach us to hold fast in our actions to the mystery we recall in worship, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye. Have a good day. God bless.